On Friday, the U.S. Navy accepted delivery of USS Zumwalt, DDG-1000, its most expensive destroyer ever. Zumwalt-class destroyers are the most lethal and sophisticated destroyers ever built. They provide deterrence and forward presence by bridging today's innovation with future technology. Guided missile destroyer USS Zumwalt is 100 feet longer and 13 feet wider than the Arleigh Burke-class destroyer at 610 feet long, providing the space required to execute a wider array of surface submarine, and aviation missions. Observers will also notice the angular design of Zoom Vault's hull and superstructure. This event marks a major milestone of the dual delivery approach for USS Zoom Vault, which achieved hull mechanical and electrical delivery, from shipbuilder General Dynamics Bath Iron Works in May 2016. Raytheon Integrated Defense Systems was the prime contractor for the Zoom Vault combat system, and has lead activation and integration for Zoom Vault class ships both in Bath, Maine, and San Diego. Delivery is an important milestone for the Navy, as DDG-1000 continues more advanced at sea testing of the Zoom Vault combat system, said Captain Kevin Smith, DDG-1000 Program Manager, Program Executive Office, Ships. The combat test team, consisting of the DDG-1000 sailors, Raytheon engineers, and Navy field activity teams, have worked diligently to get USS Zoom Vault ready for more complex multi-mission at sea testing. I am excited to begin demonstrating the performance of this incredible ship. With delivery, USS Zumwalt joins the US Pacific Fleet Battle Force and remains assigned to Surface Development Squadron 1. In addition to its sea testing of the Zumwalt combat system, DDG-1000 will also operate as a key enabler in the acceleration of new warfighting capabilities and rapid development and validation of operational tactics, techniques, and procedures. Zumwalt class destroyers maximize stealth, size, power and computing capacity, fielding an array of weapon systems and cutting-edge technologies to fight forces in the air, on and under the sea, and on land. Every day the ship is at sea, the officers and crew learn more about her capability, and can immediately inform the continued development of tactics, techniques, and procedures to not only integrate Zoom Vault into the fleet, but to advance the Navy's understanding of operations with a stealth destroyer, remarked Captain Andrew Carlson, the commanding officer of USS Zoom Vault. After sailing over 9,000 miles in 100 days at sea in 2019, We are absolutely looking forward to more aggressive at sea testing and validation of the combat systems leading to achievement of initial operational capability. The USS Zumwalt is the first ship of the Zumwalt class destroyers. The USS Michael Monsor, DDG-1001, is home ported in San Diego and is undergoing combat systems activation. The third and final ship of the class, the future USS Lyndon B. Johnson, DDG-1002, is under construction at Bio Shipyard in Bath. Main.
As one of the Defense Department's largest acquisition organizations, PO Ships is responsible for executing the development and procurement of all destroyers, amphibious ships, special mission and support ships, and special warfare craft. As CNBC previously reported, the Pentagon originally had hoped to get 32 of the Zumwalt class warships but backed off the plan more than a decade ago after congressional criticism about costs. While the Zumwalt class destroyer costs more than $4 billion, the Arleigh Burke class warships run about $1.3 billion apiece, 